What is going on, guys? Wise here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random matchup, a uh, weekday matchup, and we kind of uh, ran into this Canadian clan uh, called Quebec Undead. Um, and actually, we got caught with our pants down. Uh, came uh, came out seventy three to sixty six victory for Quebec Undead. So really good job over there, guys. Um, and to my fellow Canadians, uh, well done. Uh, they did have a uh, slight advantage. They, they had three extra Town Hall Elevens to our extra Town Hall Ten and two extra nines. Uh, they also did have a Town Hall Eight who didn't attack at the bottom. So they were kind of already two attacks down, but did have that. So, I mean, really, really, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is um, no excuse for, for that kind of margin. So really well done, Quebec Undead. You guys held your own, absolutely. Good job. Um, <laughs> not the greatest job by 2.0 overall. We, uh, we had a tough day. Um, Mainly, uh, you know, we did have those three extra 11s take care of a lot of them or like these boxy style bases that, you know, require our town hall 11s to be hitting it, hitting them. And it just didn't come through, you know, a lot of decent percentages as some of them couldn't get those down alls down. Some of them just were really unlucky and just, just overall one of those really tough days uh, as a group for your town hall group. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, even, even the 10s, uh, I know 10 versus 10 is very, very difficult these days, but uh, not a lot. Um, you know, I think we had two 10 versus 10 triples that I will show you guys. Uh, but usually we can pull off more than just just a couple like that, right? So uh, we did did clear the nines without any bullies. However, um, you know, adding a few few scouts in there just just wasn't enough. And overall, just a tough day for 2.0. So uh, congrats, Quebec Undead. Thank you for the war, guys. Uh, shout out to you guys for sure for uh, for holding your own in this one. Absolutely. Um, let's just go right down to the bottom. I got like five or six here. I want to show you guys. Um, where am I starting? 27 MBD. He just brings a Lalo, yeah. Um, just a shattered, uh, uh, shattered bowl Lalo. <clears throat> nice little, a uh, little bit of a misjudgment on his wizard there, but uh, nice, easy sort of funnel on this side with the uh, all those army camps there. Just very, very quickly with four wizards and boom, basically is that whole almost twelve to three section clear opens up that wall. Let's those golems on in. Heroes go in with the bowlers backing things up. They're going to just basically walk straight down into this queen chamber. It's a very odd queen chamber just being on the outside like that. Um, she could still jump to that core as well. But out comes the clan castle. Point is in is down. Queen is dead now. Um, King hops on into the core with those golems. Bowl, uh, bowlers are in there just smashing everything away. Like he's going to get huge value out of this, uh, this kill squad here. King is going to hit that ability, smash on through this stuff. Queen is backing that up on that side. The bowlers end up kind of getting stuck on this um, this town hall over here, so that's a little bit unfortunate. The Wiz Tower picks most of them off. I think one ends up surviving. Uh, but really, like at this point, the Queen is about to walk in here and take care of the 6 o'clock air defense. And so there's only this section to deal with. Drops a few balloons to deal with the 12 o'clock up there. The, he's got the balloons moving right in on top of that air defense, looking good. <clears throat> really, that Arch Tower is the only thing left that can attack air at this point. So absolutely just crush this base. Nice job, MBD. Boom. A few more buildings. Down she goes. Tree stars in the bag. Good job, my friends. <clears throat> All right. Next on the list, Chad Fowla. Bringing a stone Lalo here. So Chad kind of recognizes all these air defense being very, very tightly, tightly sort of packed and all reachable. Like if you're standing on this clan castle, you can reach all four of those air defense. So he's just going to uh, create the funnel down from three to nine o'clock or sorry, three to six o'clock here. Uh, open up that wall right in the middle. Going to go ahead and let the third golem in and the bowlers. Everything backing that up is going to go ahead and jump on into that core. Nice, nice wall breaker pathing, eh, Chad? Sure, uh, sure, you can uh, vote for the confusion. You drop them like up here, and they go to that corner instead of just going dead on. But whatever, works out fine. Poison goes down, taking care of those clan castle troops. Bowlers are gonna walk right in. This is a great, great funnel. Though this golem gets stuck because he's he's trying to get to this mortar over here. Um, doesn't really matter. You got the you got both uh, both the other golems in there. The, all the bowlers, every single one of them, nothing walked whatsoever in that perfect funnel on the outside. Already two air defenses are down. Clan castle's taken care of. Queen is dead. 
boom, it's going to get huge value. These bowlers are going to smash on through, get a third air defense out of the deal. Keep in mind, he's got a lava hound and a bunch of balloons. Sends in a few early balloons. I thought that was an interesting choice before he sent in the hound. Not 100% sure um, exactly what he was doing with the pathing, but I think he just wanted to cut the pathing off so everything went to this air defense. Um, and he just got way too many balloons all around the outside of the base. Absolutely just crushed this base, Chad. Nice job, buddy. Bam, bam, bam. A little bit of cleanup. Still got a balloon and a haste and a mini in the bag there. Nice job. Cut. Blam. All right, moving on here. Number 23, Derp Do. <clears throat> Just bringing a stone goho here, actually. Or a stone go hobo. <clears throat> um. Oh, there we go. Sorry, my mouse was going crazy. Uh, it goes ahead and actually, I think he forgets the third golem here. I'm wondering uh, more and more if the third golem is always is necessary in these attacks, in, in a lot of cases at least. Obviously, sometimes I'm sure it is, but because um, a lot of times you can just get away with two golems and the bowl. Like you get the bowlers. I've talked about this since the bowlers have existed and basically been the only thing to bring in your clan castle at Town Hall 9. Um, it's that you get such big push with the bowlers under rages behind even just two golems, right? And he's got these, he's got these golems still. It's so much help. Forgets this golem and drops him in from behind, and it kind of ends up working out because uh, he ends up jumping on in uh, and helping tank, I believe, for the queen. But still, just getting huge tanking value. Start sending in the hogs now. Um, getting this sort of uh, counterclockwise rotation and start working them up into this top chamber. Really the only chamber of, of threat now at 12 o'clock, I guess a little bit at 9 o'clock as well. Uh, but everything's just going to work on through this core. Queen still has her ability, just absolutely crushing it here. <clears throat> Hogs are in. Nice little GB placement there, but unfortunately it's not going to be enough. <clears throat> Ooh, there's the second one. Sorry, my bad. It's kind of interesting, uh, interesting spot for the bombs. Um, so only has one hog remaining at this point, but still has those golems in there tanking. Really, the only uh, defense that's any sort of threat whatsoever. Boom! That one hog is going to be able to take up that cannon all by his lonesome. I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, as you can see, going to be a tree in the back here for dirt. Nice job, buddy. Bam, bam, bam. Tree in the bag. Beauty. Um, see, I, and I think I think a lot of times that third golem isn't necessarily like thing. You bring six more hogs. That's that's a decent more. You know, you could add six more hogs for that nine o'clock. Um, I don't know. Just uh, just something to think about when you're planning your uh, your go hoes. Or your go hobos, whatever you freaking call them, stupid bowlers. Like bowlers should just be like standard CC now at Town Hall Nine. Like any, <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's ridiculous. Um, just check out Bucko here. He's been uh, loving this Veiler attack. <clears throat> so drops a few nice early minis here, uh, basically down to three o'clock. Um, does try and drop a baby drag at six, but unfortunately the the troll mine on the outside takes care of that. Uh, so goes ahead and drops a valve. Very smart, nice and nice and quick. Didn't even uh, didn't even wait. Gets the army cap down. That was really the only thing that he absolutely needed. Would have been nice if he could have got this barracks down as well, but no big deal. His queen's gonna kind of just kind of walk right into here and take care of all this. The nice quick funnel. Already created, so gets his Valks down before his bowlers, which I never really do. It doesn't get those bowlers down first, but he had the funnel down already. So he gets the Valks in nice and early to, to help protect that queen, open up a wall so the queen's going to follow in and help take care of the clan castle troops. Is really good job overall on the placement of, um, of your troops there, Bucko, on the entry. Fortunately, can't quite get to that air defense, but the Valks bust through, take care of it. So now the bowlers are going to be fine. These healers are going to be safe walking all the way around now to this next air defense. See where the uh, his bowlers are going to be safe now until his air, air um, healers, sorry, enter that little section. And that's a long time. They're going to have to be down here and they're dragging behind for that to happen. So his bowlers are absolutely going to get great value up there, right? Still has all those units in the core rocking through everything. Plea um, finally loses all of his Valks. So Valks were in kind of early on this attack. Um, and so one thing I find, um, 
you can if they get a weird split. Uh, they do pitter out fairly quickly. But when all of your healers are conserved like like this, uh, it doesn't matter because your bowlers are going to walk around. See here, finally they're at that point. Uh, but boom, the queen steps up, takes care of the air defense before the bowlers. The bowlers lost one healer there. No big deal. They're going to just continue to get cleanup work done around the outside. Queen's going to mop up the core. This base is absolutely GG. Boom, boom, boom. Very nicely done, buddy. Hit that queen ability now. Or not. There we go. Tree stars in the bag for Bucko. Excellent. All right, got a couple 10v10s here to rip off for you. Good old Dennis going in on number 20. Uh, still at level three Inferno Towers down at their, uh, their bottom town hall 10 there. So um, nice to see. <laughs> Gets the healers down first. Thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know exactly what that was all about. But <laughs> oh, maybe it was, if you thought this could have been, maybe this was a fresh hit. I don't know. Because it seemed almost like he was dropping those to test for to see if a troll Tesla popped. And then he probably would have dropped his queen further back to take care of the Tesla. I don't know. Just just food for thought. That was kind of interesting how he dropped his healers first there. But anyways, <laughs> Dennis just walking down around this ring base. Uh, believe is just going to wait until he funnels off uh, this whole uh, sort of 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock section. Um, and now that he's going to go ahead and drop some bowlers, a golem, <clears throat> and his king here. I believe, or does he drop the king with the box? So just gets the golem and bowlers down, using uh, using the bowlers to basically funnel off now the 12 o'clock section of the base. And he has a bunch of Valks. There goes his king, do a little bit of tanking for those Valks. And boom, just a huge parade of Valks gonna walk right into this base. Queen is gonna suck them right on top of these buildings. Um, nice little funnel job uh, now created by those bowlers over there. Um, so the Valks are all gonna get sucked into the core. <clears throat> Fortunately, that balloon is, oh good, he's got the poisons down perfectly as well. So the balloon goes down, and the Hound is chasing his Valks and Golem now too. So that's absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, that Wizard does chase it around. But other than that, no big deal. Valks are getting really good value here in this core. Just got to get that Inferno Tower down. Boom, boom, boom. Down go the Infernos. Still has a bunch of Valks. His Queen is perfectly fine with the ability still intact. Coming up from the 6 o'clock location. Just going to basically work around and... Pincer the rest of this base off. <clears throat> bam, bam, and bam. Tree in the bag for Dennis. Good job, buddy. And last but not least, Zerdzi going in on number 19. Uh, so he's bringing drags, and I thought this was really good. Uh, Good entry overall. He just suicides the king in with a couple wizards in behind. <clears throat> Basically gets the funnel created. Goes ahead and drops the queen on the other side with another wizard. Few wall breakers to open things up for the queen so she can step up and take care of this air defense. Just absolutely beautiful. I thought it was um, a little risky getting uh, caught up on this town hall here. I don't think he... I think he was hoping it was going to go into these buildings, obviously not to the town hall and then to the air defense, but that wizard stepping up there helped out. So the queen gets up just in time. He's gonna be able to pop that ability and take care of that air defense. Down it goes. He's already got baby D's doing the funnel work up here. Goes ahead and drops those dragons at 12 o'clock. Just gets them nice and spread out. Gonna start just trying to get all of them to converge into this 12 o'clock air defense. Max Hound out of the CC comes in there. <clears throat> takes two mines quickly to the face, but uh, that's exactly the purpose. He would have lost two dragons there if it weren't for that hound. So absolutely good job there, right? Just getting good, good value down on these troops. All air defenses are down. So he's got that hound doing a little bit of tanking still. Dragons have not been touched. Now the hound bursts and the dragons start taking damage, but they're already on top of everything of importance. The only building in the middle here that isn't a super important defense against dragons like your Infernos and all your Teslas is that clan castle and down it goes, down goes the Infernos. <laughs> I guess the king kind of stalls things up here for a second as well. Just not enough. Down goes that last Tesla, grounded Expos. No way three Archer Towers and a Wizard Tower are gonna be enough for this. Still has a few balloons too. He's all sprinkling around the base. So kablam, kablam, kablam. Very sexy raid, Zerts. Good read, buddy.
Boom. Tree stars in the bag. All right, so uh, again, Tough War 2.0. It's going to happen every now and then, obviously. Oh, excuse me. I am tired. Um, but, uh, yeah, Quebec Undead, don't take anything away from you guys. You uh, put up a hell of a fight, so good job over there. Uh, well done again to my uh, fellow Canadians. Uh, but in, I think uh, I'm going to call it an afternoon here, guys. i am uh, got a lot, to, a lot of running around to do today. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Shining up a bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out. <laughs>